gonna do today uh, doing each day that I can and I can play started doing every single Beatles album in an acoustic format uh, just one acoustic guitar and one vocal so I say to strip down the songs to the most basic elements which are harmony and melody just you know the chords and the vocal we're gonna do every single Beatles song there is in their catalog and I'm going in order chronologically uh, throughout all the albums just please please me I did um, with the Beatles a hardest night Beatles for sale help and River Soul the six albums covered so far uh, with a little review and, um, little comments on the albums and impressions so um, I got to 1965 and I said, okay, I'm going to stop there and I'm going to go with um, the singles, pa the Past Masters singles um, from 1963 till 1965. This one is till 1966. This is the Red Album. It's not, I know all the singles are not there. The most important are. Um, but I don't currently own the past masters volume one and two on vinyl they're kind of expensive um and kind of hard to find also if you go to like record stores there's the album that some record stores might have them or not i have all the the other discography in vinyl except um and the cds are, are somewhere <laughs> i don't have them with me so i cannot show the cds uh as well but this is the most the closest thing i got to a time period between 1960 well 62 here because love me do the first single they recorded was 1962 then in 63 they released please please me as a as a full album and the versions the 62 version of Love Me Do and the 63 version of Love Me Do, they're two different versions. They're two different takes recorded with two different uh, drummers. One was, I think Alan White was his name. Like a session drummer that uh, George Martin got. So I'm gonna go through this collection of singles. The way I was introduced to them was through first the Red Album and then the Past Masters. Um, had all their, their singles <clears throat> of that time period. I'm not gonna do Love Me Do, it starts with Love Me Do, the past, past master started with Love Me Do, and the uh, Red Album too, is the first single the Beatles put out. Uh, so I already covered that on um, Please Please Me, when did a full album called that, Please Please Me. So I'm gonna start with uh, the next song, which is From Me To You. You go something like this. <clears throat>
All right, well, from me to you, obviously a big hit. Uh, also, of all those um, single songs uh, from the Beatles, which were like the biggest hits in the Beatlemania era, just Love Me Do, I would say Please Please Me, sort of. Then... Um, um, I want to hold your hand, she loves you, which we're going to cover in a second. Um, I think for me to use one of my favorites, or maybe my favorite. I, I love the key because that is mine. That augmented chord is very interesting. And the coda there. To you, to you, to you. And it ended up in a minor, like, uh, that, that reminds me of a... Uh, Ask me why. I love you. How they ended up in that unexpected minor. I, I love that. Anyways, right, so let's keep going because this album is kind of long. Thank you, girl.
Mr. Versa. We're around 1964 now. We're getting into 1964. Um, obviously, she loves you. Same big, big hit. Um, but still, they had to wait until they did. I want to hold your hand too. Make it big in the States. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Imagine I'm in love with you. It's easy because I know. I've imagined I'm in love with you many, many, many times before. Is that likely? Another Lennon McCartney kind of like a uh, harmony, very uh, nice harmony work on that song. Same as all this time period. Uh, it's hard to tell which one is John, which one is Paul. Uh, Sweet reviewed with the other albums, um, the the sixty three to sixty five albums. Actually, with like a Hardest Night and uh, Please Please Me and. Um, Beatles for Sales, especially. John takes much more the lead on those albums with the acoustic guitar and the lead vocal. Um, Paul is a little bit behind, I think, just just a tiny bit. And there's a lot of songs that are very blurry. Um, which ones they are more Lennon, more McCartney? Where's where's the weight? there um whose original idea was i think those songs were like um they represent that time period where they got together at john's house and they wrote you know 20 songs a day both of them sitting down with guitars and making up melodies and and harmonies which was a great uh exercise and a great practice and uh um, they practice a lot of um, vocal harmonies in those um, in those in those songs. They practice a lot of they have a lot of vocal harmony stuff, which is very uh, very interesting. How they achieve that? Um, I guess with a great ear and. Just listening to a lot of records and to what a lot of people were doing at the time, especially um, like black music from like Motown stuff like that. They had a lot of um, a lot of uh, influence with the. They made a huge impact on the Beatles, how to sing and work their 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 um, 
vocal harmonies. Um, it's another song that is very blurry, like who's the original idea? And this is obviously the one of their biggest hits till today. Uh, one of the most important songs in the 20th century. Um, <clears throat> so let's try to do it just one guitar. favorites of this album I must say. Uh, and three part harmony John a three part harmony uh, song which he wrote
back again This morning This morning This morning One of my favorite uh, songs from this album, if you can call it an album, it's like a compilation sort of album. Even though to me it, it counts as an album, because um, I had it on CD, it was a black album, it was Past Masters and a collection of singles. So yeah, uh, I'm not gonna attempt, even attempt to do Come Give Me Dine Hand and uh, my German skills are probably worse than the Beatles. Not probably, you know, definitely. All right, um, here's another another cover, another filler, as they call them, another filler. Another Little Richard, very similar to Kansas City. Same time period, also, probably they recorded it on the same day or something. Another Paul McCartney, Screaming G, um... Rockabilly, the old, old rock and roll, old school rock and roll kind of stuff. So, uh, let's try to do it. Oh, by the way, I'm doing every single song in the original key. Um, the only thing that they kind of difference yesterday, uh, but I did all the versions. So that's a uh, uh, long tall Sally, Little Richard. Try to scream as little as possible. Second solo. Uh, <coughs> the George does. I don't remember that much. Uh, the, uh, here we go. That was a pretty cool solo, and and the end with a uh, Ringo does with the toms is pretty pretty cool too. Next stop, I call your name. Um, I think this is like "I'll Follow the Sun" for Paul. That was one of the first songs he wrote, or "When I'm 64." That pre-Beatles time period. I think this is the very first song John ever wrote. It's a very interesting song for being one of the most. Uh, 
least, actually one of the least popular Beatles. Approach. Billy cover. This time John takes the lead instead of Paul. This one has a pretty cool riff. I like the, the riff of the song. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, especially with my fingers, so it's not in the best shape. But I'm gonna try. One, two, three, four.
here's another rockabilly song, another Carl Perkins song. I think this is the third Carl Perkins song in the Beatles catalog, and I think that's it. I think it's only three songs. Uh, two of them are in Beatles for Sale, and then this single that Ringo sings. Uh, there's actually pretty cool versions also by John and Paul. There's a no, I'm getting mixed up. Matchbox is not, no, it's not Matchbox. What's the other one? The John doesn't in, in live at the BBC. Honey Don't. He, he sings Honey Don't. Not, um, John's version of Honey Don't is actually pretty cool. Um, Paul sings Matchbox. Uh, he used to just have a sweet spot over here. This been driving me crazy for days. Let's try to do Matchbox. Oh, two, Perkins, uh, I think probably my favorite Carl Perkins song. Um, next stop, 1965. We're getting to 1965. Lots of sing lots of singles in 1964. Lots of covers here. Matchbox, Slow Down, um, Long Tall Sally. A uh, lot of like classic rock. Um, rock and roll kind of stuff uh, rock and roll music uh, everybody's trying to be my baby honey don't lots of cover tunes in 1964 that were very that were very um, uh, the one four five kind of stuff. it's all right uh, they had fun doing it seems like John liked doing that a lot uh, next song. First feedback ever recorded in history of music.
my favorite songs of this album, uh, or this compilation, I should call it. Um, it's kind of the help time period. I have no idea why they didn't include this in help. It's better than a lot of songs that are in help. Like, tell me what you see. Get rid of that one, but this one. <laughs> it's better. Uh, all right. Keep going in 1965. Another one from Help. Uh, this guitar. Um, this song is uh, featured for just a second in uh, Help. The, it's coming through a radio. They're trying to uh, bomb their recording studio that is outdoors. And they're playing a song to uh, give the the, the bad guys, the um, a false location where the Beatles are, and that's sound in the song. Uh, they started like this. This is John on the Rickenbacker, like going crazy. Um, it's a very high end jangly John love this chord, the E seventh, for some reason. All right, it starts like this. You gotta mix up, there's a very cool version in uh, um, Paul's Unplugged MTV. He does it in E, and it does a. I love that song, that, that version. I get mixed up the two versions sometimes. Anyways, let's do the original one in the original key.
or Paul McCartney screaming rock and roll thing. A lot of things that he learned from Little Richard, I believe. Anyways, let's keep going. We only have three songs left to finish the first Past Masters. Okay, another John Lennon cover. In the same key of C as Slow Down. I always get them kind of mixed up. These two songs. I think it's the same songwriter as Larry Williams. One, two, three, four. Three, uh, the three part harmony for George, Paul, and John that John wrote. Uh, being this boy, no man, and this song, yes, it is. Uh, probably, yes, it is the one that is a little bit more hidden out of those. Still think it's a very, it's probably one of the, if you look at the three of them, I would say no, I would put no man. Uh, this boy and then yes it is but it is still a really um, cool song again out of them three it's probably the the worst one if you want to put it that way Two, three take three I could be 
Masters Volume 1. Alright, it's not much to say about this thing as an album, because again, it's not an album, it's a compilation album. Of all the singles. Alright, uh, another Paul McCartney <coughs> basic rock and roll thing. Uh, very inspired by Little Richard, actually. You tell I think I can see you Volume 1 